Hey guys, it's Chris Serino again from the Sultana Education Foundation. Thank you for watching these awesome videos that we do. Today I'm here to tell you about the State Turtle of Maryland. Of course, the Diamondback Terrapin. If you've ever heard of the Maryland Terrapins or the Terps, this is what they're talking about. So the Diamondback Terrapin is a brackish water turtle. It's one of the only turtles in the entire world that spends its entire life cycle in brackish water, that mix of salt and fresh water. We've had this turtle here for about seven years. They can actually get to be about two and a half times larger than this, but I think this is probably the max. Right? A turtle is a reptile, uh, which means they're cold-blooded. So when the weather's warmer, their body temperature goes up, they become more active. During the cold weather months, their body temperature is going to go down and they become uh, almost dormant. So the Diamondback Terrapin is probably most famous for this beautiful bluish gray coloration on its skin. You can see, you can see it's kind of striped and polka dotted and there's a lot of variation in that from turtle to turtle. The Terrapin gets its name from these scoots, these scales that almost have like diamond-like patterns within them. So this shell here is called the carapace. It's greenish brown to blend in with the water. The lower end here is called the plastron. You can see it's kind of yellow to blend in with the sun. If a predator was looking up, this would blend in with the glare of the sun, and that's called counter shading. Now, this is probably a female. If this was a male, there'd be a big indentation here in the plastron. So when she's ready to lay eggs, after she's mated with another male, she's gonna find a nice isolated sandy beach, go up, lay a nest, deposit her eggs, bury them in the sand, and then she takes off and those little babies when they're born are kind of on their own. Let's see if she'll take a little journey down the bay here. And uh, we can get a little footage of her walking. She's got little claws and kind of like scaly skin on those appendages there. And there she goes. Go, Ru, go. Go, Ru, go. So here in captivity, uh, she gets a really nice diet of shrimp, squid, oysters, sometimes fish. Out in the wild, she would certainly eat all of those things. She would also eat things that are a little easier to catch, like snails, where she can use that, that beak to kind of crush things. Uh, primarily a meat eater, and she's kind of cruising around the salt marshes looking for her prey. Worms, of course. Um, so those are some of the things that might consist of a terrapin's diet. So these terrapins were hunted almost to extinction. They were really a delicacy in terrapin soup and they've made a pretty nice little comeback here on the bay thanks to conservation efforts and also preservation of habitats. Sandy beaches in particular where they need to go lay their eggs. So that's the Diamondback Terrapin, the state terrapin of Maryland, one of the coolest animals you can find in the Chesapeake Bay.